Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter, the Good Shepherd Sunday. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion, together with Father Ted Toralba. The merciful love of the Lord fills the earth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is also Vocation Sunday. And uh, we pray for, we include in our prayer those who are celebrating their birthdays in this month of May. <clears throat> Just for the information of everybody that since you cannot go physically to attend the Eucharist every first Sunday, we dedicate the Sunday and bless all those who are celebrating their birthday for the month. The second Sunday in our parish is dedicated and pray for all those little children who goes to Mass since they cannot go to Mass. So second Sunday, we include them in our prayers and we pray for them. Third Sunday, we will pray for all those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries. Ano po, para alam po ninyo. And the fourth Sunday, we will pray for all the repose of the souls of your dearly departed who died on those months. Ano po? Kung makakasimba kayo, makakasimba kayo. Ano po? Pero yun pong kaluluwa, hindi na po kailangan magsimba on the fourth Sunday. Ano po? Baka lang magsimba eh. Ano po? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Peter, the leader of the apostles, proclaims to the people, that Jesus, who was crucified, is risen from the dead and is proclaimed by God as Lord and Messiah. 
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the, de to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose, Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Jesus bore our sins on the cross, suffering for us sinners. He is the shepherd who gave his life for us. In turn, we should come back to him to receive healing. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten, Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o Lord. Lord. Jesus said, 
Amen, amen. I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen. I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To help our Father with our finances when we were little children, our mother decided to raise pigs in the backyard. Nagkaroon kami ng maliit na babuyan Kaya nga nung ako ay mas, nung ako ay maliit pa, ang aking pangarap ay maging veterinary doctors. Ano pa? Dahil may kita o may pera sa baboy. Ano pa? May pera sa baboy. Ang mahirap lang doon, dahil nag-aalaga ka ng baboy, ano po, pagka minsan, kahit naligo ka na, amoy baboy ka. Ano po? Ah, may baboy ka. Nag-aaral ka sa isang prominenting paaralan. Ano po? At sasabihin ng kaklase mo, amoy ah, baboy ka. Ano po? Yung amoy ng feeds. Ano po? Tapos ang papayat namin nun, sabi ng mga kaklase ko, pag nakikita kami yung magkakapatid na naglalakad, sabi niya, mas mapalad ang mga baboy nyo. Mas matataba kaysa sa inyo. Ano po? Well, we have to live with it. We have to live with it. Just to understand the context, ano pa? Hindi lahat ng matadero magbababoy. Ano pa? Alam niyo po ba yung matadero? Yung nagtatagtad ng karne ng baboy. Ano pa? Matadero lang sila. Pero hindi sila magbababoy. Ano pa? At hindi lahat na nagtitinda ng baboy matadero, kaya hindi rin sila magbababoy. Ano po? At hindi lahat na magbababoy ano po? ay matadero o nagtitinda ng baboy. Kailangan yung maintindihan yung iba't ibang mukha. Ano po? Iba't ibang mukha. At higit sa lahat, higit sa lahat, ang nag-aalaga ng baboy at ang baboy na inaalagaan magkaiba. Ano pa? Yung magbababoy, pwede magpakababoy. Pero yung baboy, kahit kailan, hindi magiging tao. Kindly listen. Yung magbababoy, yung tao, na nag-aalaga ng baboy, pwede magpakababoy. Hindi po ba? Pero yung baboy, kahit kailan, hindi magiging tao. Now, put that in context or use that in the context of today's celebration. 
one of the many blessings of being a priest is the opportunity to go to Holy Land and perhaps to understand the culture. And when you read the scriptures, you understand it more. Sabi nga ng, ng Santo Papa, the shepherds must smell like the sheep. Ano po? But you have to understand, not all those who smell like sheep are shepherds. Not all those who smell like sheep are shepherds. Hindi yung mga, hindi lahat ng mga amoy tupa, pastol. Hindi lang talaga sila naliligo. Hindi lang talaga sila naliligo. Bakit? Mahirap ang tubig eh. Mahirap ang tubig. Hindi sila naliligo. Three people despised or being despised in 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 holy land especially in the olden times three people the tax collectors the prostitutes and the shepherds the tax collectors you know why the prostitute you know why and the shepherds why mabaho sila mabaho sila you don't want to get associated with them you don't want to get associated with them. But in their little way, you know that the good news was revealed to them. Now, hindi lahat ng amoy tupa, pastol. Second, not all who tend sheep are shepherds. Not all who tend sheep are shepherds. Hindi lahat na nag-aalaga ng tupa ay pastol din ay pastol din. There's only one shepherd. There's only one shepherd. Now, not all shepherds own the sheep. And not all owners of sheep are shepherds. Look at the different personalities. The different personalities. Magkakaiba yun. Ano po? Hindi lahat ng amoy ito pa, pastol. Hindi lahat na nag-aalaga ng tupa ay pastol. Sino yung pastol? Marahil ang tanong. Sapagat hindi rin lahat ng pastol may-ari ng tupa at hindi lahat ng may-ari ng tupa pastol. Who are the shepherds? Who are the shepherds? First, you have to understand the difference between lamb and sheep. What are lamb and sheep? Sheep are one, old, one year older in abab. Pag ang tupa ay isang taon at mas matanda na ang tawag doon ay sheep. Below, you call it lamb. Mary and the little lamb. Hindi po ba, no? That's why when you go to Holy Land and when you order lambs, it is very expensive. Why? It is tender and juicy. Pag mura yan, hindi yan lamb. Sheep yan, matatanda na. Now, sabi ko nga, katulad ng baboy, yung pastol, pwedeng magpakatupa. Pero yung tupa, kahit kailan, hindi magiging pastol. Kahit gaano kabait, Yung tupa, hindi yung magiging pastol. Who are the shepherds? One time, talking to a Bedouin. Usually, shepherds are Bedouin. They are the one people, they are the people in the mountains. They don't live in the city. Ano po? They are not poor, but they don't live in the, sheet, in the city. May amoy. Kasi nga, hindi naliligo eh. Ano po? O dahil yung damit, hindi naman nilalaban. Hindi ko alam. Ano pa? Basta magamit ka na lang ng bix. Pwede na. Ano pa? Kaya mahalaga yung bix. Ano pa? Now, amaze na amaze ako kasi nagahalo-halo yung mga tupa. Ano pa? Nagahalo-halo. Malalaman mo ko sino yung shepherd. The moment the shepherd moves, his sheep follows him. 
maghalo-halo yan, ha? Hindi ko alam kung paano ginagawa yun. Hindi lahat na nagtetend, hindi lahat na nagaalaga, sinusunda ng tupa. Pero yung shepherd, yung tunay na pastol, pag siya ay gumalaw, sinusundan siya ng mga tupa niya. It means a shepherd has a relationship with the sheep. Ko ilalagay mo sa konteksto, hindi lahat hindi lahat ng manager leader. At hindi lahat ng leader manager. Alam niyo 'yan. Sino yung leader? Yung may sumusunod. Hindi po ba ano? Bul- Pag sinusundan ka, hindi palagi ikaw ay tama. Basta mayroon kang follower, leader ka. Pag wala kang follower, hindi ka leader. Stroller ka lang. nag stroll ka lang. Hindi po ba? No? Stroller ka lang. Hindi ba? Ang biruan nga, pag sumusunod sa'yo maganda, admirer. Hindi po ba? No? Pag pangit ang susunod, stalker. Hindi po ba? No? Ganun yun eh. Hindi po ba? No? So, para mas maintindihan ninyo. Kung may sumusunod, either a stalker or admirer. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, look at this. If you look at the sheep following a shepherd, I tried it. I tried it. Maybe there's a smell. I do not know. But it develops a certain relationship with the sheep. Hindi sila lahat mabait. I have shared this before. A sheep with the broken bones, ano po, pilay, nandu sa tabi ng shepherd, at tinatanong, but who pilay? Sabi na shepherd, pinilayang ko yan. So, hindi lahat ng shepherd mabait. Pinipilayan niya yung mga sheep niya eh. With the interpreter, with the guide, sabi, bakit pinilayan? Sabi, ay kasi yan layas ng layas. Kaya yan, kaya yan pinilayan. So, nandun lang, hindi makalakad. Kaya nakakakita kayo ng mga sheep na binubuhat ng shepherds. Ano po? Hindi yan nakakalakad. Hindi yan nakakalakad. But because they cannot walk away and they learn to stay near the shepherds, it develops a relationship. Sabi nga no shepherd, yan, dati ko yung pinilayan. Yan, dati ko yung pinilayan. Yan, dati ko yung pinilayan. Sometimes the shepherds inflict pain for the sheep to learn. So, you have to understand a shepherd is not someone who protects you from any pain. A good shepherd lead the sheep to where he is supposed to be. Kaya nga po, kung titingnan natin ang konteksto ng pananampalataya natin, konteksto ng pananampalataya, ano po? Maintindihan mo maintindihan mo, ang mabuting pastol ay hindi palaging mabait. Sapagkat hindi lahat ng mabait mabuti. Hindi lahat ng mabait mabuti. At hindi lahat ng mabuti mabait. Ano ang ginagawa ng mabuting pastol? It helps you to become a, birth, a better person today than yesterday. Follow a good shepherd. A good shepherd is someone who tells you what you ought to hear rather than telling you what you want to hear. The good shepherd, Jesus, became a sheep, but the sheep can never become the good shepherd. Kahit gaano kabuti ang papa, ang obispo, ang pari, hindi sila magiging katulad ni Jesus. Bakit? Only the good shepherd can die and save the sheep. 
Walang sino mang ibang pwedeng magligtas maliban sa tagapagligtas. Kaya nga po, when you talk about vocation, I have said this many times, three things. There must always be a purity of intentions, capacity to become, and capacity to remain. Not all who believe in Jesus followed Jesus. You ask yourself, are you following Jesus or you are simply following the preacher? Any preacher, any priest, any healers, name it, who doesn't point his fingers to Jesus is not a good shepherd. Sino mang magaling na magsalita na hindi itinuturo ang kanyang daliri sa tunay na tagapagligtas ay hindi totoong mabuting pastol. You have to understand that. A good shepherd must always lead the flock to Jesus. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you ask yourself, anong dahilan para hindi ako maniwala? Ikaw, ikalawa, hindi sapat na ikaw ay naniniwala. Dapat ikaw ay sumusunod. Dapat ikaw ay sumusunod. Ano ibig sabihin na sumusunod? You do the will of God. The minimum is to do the law. The minimum is to do the law. The second is to do the law out of love. To follow. The worst and perhaps is to remain. To remain. The purity of intentions, the, past, the, the capacity to, to become, to follow, and the capacity to remain. If you look at the first reading, I do not know if you were struck with the words, let the whole house of Israel. Why? There's only one house. Let the whole house of Israel. If you do not belong to this house, then you do not belong to the house of Israel. It doesn't mean if you are in a house, you, are, you belong to the house of Israel. In the olden, if you look and read and perhaps you study scriptures, sometimes tents symbolizes wife. To live in a tent is to live in the house of your wife. It means one family. Kaya nga pag ikaw ay lumipat ng tent, aba, nangapit bahay ka, hindi po ba? Nangabit ka ba? There's only one house. And if you live in that house, you live according to the norm of the house. You live according to the norm. Mahirap yung gusto mo makit, gusto mo sumama sa bahay na yan, pero ayaw mo naman sundin ang alituntunin at kautosan ng sambayan ng yan. Yun ang mahalaga, hindi po ba? To follow. Anong sabi doon? You can, you can, you can suffer for doing what is good. You can suffer for what in doing what is good. Because you know it is by the grace of God that you're able to do it. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you ask yourself, alam nyo ngayong maraming online masses, maraming nagsashopping ng mesa. Maraming nagsashopping ng mesa. Kasi napaka-convenient. Hindi po ba? Napaka-convenient. Palaging ang tanong doon ay, do you believe? Do you follow? Will you remain? Do you believe? Will you follow? Do you follow? Will you remain? And this is the grace of the celebration of today. 
Because regardless how good is the shepherds, the sheep will always have the freedom to make a choice. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophet. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that He may take care of us and raise up good shepherds to tend the people of God. And every petition let our response be, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our Holy Father, Francis, and church leaders continue to be true shepherds, leading their flocks to good pastures, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your people. Like Jesus, the good shepherd who loved and died for his people, may our political and civil leaders govern in such a way that our time marked by many signs of violence and death, may see the establishment of peace and a culture of life, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. May young people, following the good examples of their elders, take their place in society with a sense of responsibility, service, and respect for the dignity of each person, we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Today, World Day of Prayer for Vocations, we pray that there be more young men and women who respond to God's call to the priesthood and consecrated life and give themselves totally to the cause of the kingdom, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your people. May those who are sick and at the moment of death receive the comfort of the Lord so that they may not fear but hold on to the Good Shepherd who died to give life to all of us, we pray. Lord, Lord listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord listen to your people. God, our loving Father, grant us the desire to serve our brothers and sisters so that when our chief shepherds appear, we shall receive the unfading crown of glory. We ask this of you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of an answer made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, that in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integ integrity of life is restored to Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together, the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families. Peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant you unity and accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Good Shepherd, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot in this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength. 
that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my sheep, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you. If not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit because I love you and I ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be Please to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We continue to pray the prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you, aware of your profound love for us. We ask you to bless us once again. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps, to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Please rise. As I have said in the beginning of the Mass, first Sunday we pray for all those who are celebrating their birthday for this month of May. Kahit po quarantine, quarantine is not the reason for you not to celebrate your birthday. Ano po? Ang address po namin ay 1175 UN Avenue, Paco, Manila. Kung kayo po ay magpapadala ng cake. <laughs> my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, may ask those who, have birth, those who are celebrating their birthday this month of May to stand. If you are at home, and I invite that you put your hands over your chest and ask the Lord for a special grace. The church is praying for you. Ask the Lord. And we pray. Ama naming mapagmahal, idinudulog po namin ang lahat na nagdiriwang ng kailang kaarawan sa buwan na ito ng Mayo. Kilala mo ang bawat isa sa kanila, Panginoon. Ang mga bata hanggang sa pinakamatanda. Alam mo ang kanila mga pangalan, saan man sila naroroon. Alam mo ang kanila mga pagtawat, pagluha, kahinaan at kalakasan, kabiguan at tagumpay. Alam mo rin, Panginoon, na kailang mga pangarap, hindi lang para sa kailang mga sarili, kundi para sa kailang mga mahal sa buhay. Idinudulog po namin sila, Panginoon, na wapoy maging kalugod-lugod sila sa inyo. Kinihingi po namin na sila po ay patuloy mong ingatan, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan, patuloy mo silang pagkaloba ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung sino man sa kanilang may karamdaman, Nawapoy pagkaluban mo sila ng kagalingan. Ibangon mo sila, Panginoon, sa kanilang pagkakaratay sa higaan. Panginoon, nawapo ay patuloy mo silang gabayan sa kanilang mga iniisip at ginagawa. Kung sila man po ay merong suliranin o problema sa buhay, tuwangan mo sila. Alisin mo po ang kanilang mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Higit sa lahat, Panginoon, nawapo ang kanilang kanya nila mga pamilya, ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Birthday nila, Lord. Alam mo po ang kailang mga panalangin. Kayo na po ang magregalo. Ano ba po ay pagkalubong? Kahilingan na kailang mga puso at sila pong lahat ay yung pagpalain sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Mula po sa parokya na Santa Maria Goretti, happy birthday sa lahat. Going back to what I've said earlier, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, not all in authority are managers, and not all managers are leaders, and not all leaders are good, but not all good leaders are good shepherds. Good leaders think of your welfare a good shepherd thinks of your salvation. You must follow the good shepherd. My dear friends, a good shepherd points his fingers to God. Kami po, ang amin pong bats sa seminaryo, ang pangalan namin ay Agnus Concordi Yeso. Lamb in the hearts, in the heart of Christ. Ang Ito po ay aking ordination investment ano po? I mean thanksgiving please continue to pray for us your priest you pray for the religious you pray for your bishops you pray for those who are discerning for their vocations 
my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, we need a good shepherd. We need a good shepherd. But regardless how good the shepherd is, the sheep will always have the freedom to make a choice. To believe or not to believe. But it is not enough to believe you must follow Jesus. It is not enough that you follow Jesus. You must remain, you must remain in the house of Israel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.